Hi everyone, in this video I shed some light on what exactly do diplomats do. But before we begin this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a like so as many people can learn about what exactly do diplomats do. Alright, let's get into today's video. So what exactly do diplomats do? The answer is it depends, but the overarching mission of an American diplomat is to represent the interests and policies of the United States overseas and to help our fellow American citizens overseas. So according to the State Department's website, the mission of a U.S. diplomat in the Foreign Service is to promote peace, support prosperity, and protect American citizens while advancing interests of the U.S. abroad. So essentially in the Foreign Service, we have different cones or a cone can also be thought as a career track. It's like the kind of hat that a diplomat wears in the Foreign Service. It's the roles and responsibilities that they carry out even though we are considered generalists. And essentially in the Foreign Service, there are five different cones. You have political, economic, consular, management, and public affairs, public diplomacy as your different cones or career tracks that you can choose in the Foreign Service. In fact, one of the first big decisions when you do decide to join the Foreign Service is when you take your Foreign Service exam, your FSLT, they ask you what cone, what track would you like to declare? So the first career track or cone that I want to talk about is the political cone. So a political officer's job is to understand the political situation that is happening within a host country. They also analyze a host country's uh, domestic and foreign policies. But with that said, they also seek to align U.S. interests and host country interests together. One cool thing about political officers is that they use their persuasion skills in order to encourage host governments to adopt policies or to take certain actions. Political officers also maintains contacts within national and local governments, as well as think tanks, NGOs, activists, journalists, etc. One activity of a political officer can be to report on a segment of society, political events that are happening, or a geographic region. The second career track that I want to highlight is the economic career track. So an economic officer's job is to build and maintain positive economic relationships between the host country and the United States. Economic officers also advance U.S. economic and commercial interests through diplomacy. One interesting thing about economic officers is that their portfolio is not only on economic issues. They also report on issues related to technology, health, the environment, and science. The next career track that I want to highlight is management. So management officers, they are the people that help keep our embassy and consulates running. They are responsible for all embassy operations for everything, including from real estate, from personnel to budgets. The next career track that I want to highlight are consular officers. Consular officers are the people that American citizens, that foreign citizens most likely will meet when they come to an embassy or consulate. The consular officer's primary duty is to help American citizens abroad when Americans are distressed, uh, when they're in jail, when they're in hospitals, when they lose their passport. Consular officers help American citizens. Consular officers provide emergency and non-emergency assistance to American citizens. Consular officers also issue visas to non-U.S. citizens who would like to come to the United States to work, travel, study, or to live in the United States. One thing that you should know is diplomats usually spend the first two to four years of their foreign service career doing consular work. And the last career track or cone that I want to highlight are public diplomacy officers. Public diplomacy officers are the public relations people in the Foreign Service. Public diplomacy officers work to create mutual understanding and to create messaging to support U.S. policy and interests abroad. Public diplomacy officers accomplishes this goal by speaking to foreign publics abroad and the use of traditional and social media. Through the media, public diplomacy officers explain the America's history, culture, values, and traditions, and how that shapes foreign policy. Public affairs officers also manage cultural exchanges and people-to-people -people exchanges. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button to break the YouTube algorithm so as many people can learn about what exactly do diplomats do. And if you thought this video was helpful, be sure to share with two or three of your friends. Until next time. See you later. Bye-bye.